Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 199. Well, you know, I've kind of uh, neglected my viewers and subscribers that are interested in Scanner Radios. Thought I would get back to you people today and do something on Scanner Radios. Now, this is also somewhat applicable to HF, but not as much, and I'll explain that later. Anyway, I'm going to go to a web page here. And here's the program I'm talking about that I use with my scanner radios. It's called Scanner Recorder, and it's version 1.9. And this, this is the free version. There's also a pro version. And uh, you can get, um, get this uh, software several places. Uh, this is just one of the places you can get it. If you do a search on Scanner Recorder, you'll see there's several places to get this um, this program. So we're going to show you this program now. Let me move this down some so you can see it. Here it is. So here is the uh, the program. And, whoops, didn't mean to do that. And it has a lot of options. I'm just going to ha show you how to use it just straightforward, the simple way, and not talk about all these options it's got. You can investigate those options yourself. But the concept is you have something that you want to record off your radio, but it doesn't, it's not active very much. For instance, there are some utility stations uh, I like to monitor, and uh, sometimes they only broadcast maybe once or twice a day for just 15, 20 seconds. And I certainly don't have time to sit there listening to my radio to try to capture those. So I set up this recorder and have it do the handiwork for me. And the beauty of this recorder, and of course there's many, many audio recorders out there for your PC. But this one is unique in that it only records when there's activity. Now what I mean by that is it uses the concept of a squelch, which will squelch the noise, I'll call it, the low-level noise, and not record that, and not record or start recording until the audio reaches a certain level. Kind of like your squelch on your scanner radio. So that's the concept, and that's what makes it different than other recording programs. So you set this thing up, and yep, got the weather report. Would you believe it's 81 here today? Wow. Um, so what was I saying? Oh, yes. So first thing you have to do is you want to set this squelch. And you can see that white uh, bar change as you increase the squelch level. So if you go real high, that means this thing's going to not record until the audio coming in gets a, gets to a real high level. So I'm going to be listening to uh, my scanner radio, and e either there's a signal there or not, so I can set this real low, set it to about 15% or 14%. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to open a file to save this. I'm going to use this one that I've been using for this recording. Yes, I would need to replace it. Okay, and then you can select the fidelity of the recording. Uh, and that determines how much disk space it uses up per, space, per second. So I'm going to select the lowest, which only uses 15 kilobytes per second of audio that's recording. So that's what I'm going to use. OK. So the file's set up. It's ready to record. Now, when it's, when it's in the record mode, it'll show a bar here. And, it'll sh and it basically is showing you the amplitude of the audio coming in. And since right now I have my microphone coming in to my computer for recording the show, it's monitoring that. It's monitoring my microphone. And like I say, there's a whole bunch of other options, but I'm just going to show you the basic options to get this working. So it's ready to go, and it has two timers here. One is elapsed time. That's the time that it's been monitoring. So it may you may have it monitor for 20 hours, and that'll show up here. 
The next one down here is the time during that 20 hours that it actually captured anything, which may only be seconds or a minute or five minutes, whatever. So we're ready to go. So here goes, I'm gonna push record. And you're seeing initially just that line because I wasn't talking and the bar up here right here is red. This bar turned red when it's recording. So it's recording my voice now through the microphone input. And if I stop talking, it'll stop recording and that bar will change to black. Okay, you also saw that the elapsed time stopped when I stopped talking, so there was no, it didn't break the squelch as it's known. So now I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get my scanner radio and bring it up to the microphone and show you how it would work. Now normally what you would do is you would hook the output, your earphone output out of your scanner radio or your shortwave radio to a, through a cable to the input of your computer. Now older computers had two inputs. They had a line input and a microphone input. If you have both, use the line input. If you only have the microphone, you have to be a little careful because that's very sensitive and you don't want the audio coming out of your radio to be too loud. So keep the audio on your radio too loud. I mean, <laughs> down low. Don't let it get too loud. Okay, as I promised you, I was going to stop talking and turn the scanner on. So here we go. Sorry about that. I, I had uh, bumped the squelch on my, on my scanner. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can, you can see that um, until that audio level reached the squelch point, it didn't record. Now you have to, what you have to do is you have to play with that a, a little bit until you get it at the level that you want so that it does capture what you want and doesn't miss it. As you can see, I was kind of a little too far away from the microphone with the scanner initially, and it was in and out, stopping and starting the record. But with my big fat voice, it's recording all the time. So the level is set fine for my big fat voice. So uh, we're gonna stop it now. And what that does is that just uh, pauses the recording. So everything's still set up, it's the same file, and it's ready to go again. If you hit recording now, it will add to that file that you opened and you've already recorded stuff on. Now, the one drawback of this free version is that it does not have a built-in player. So you have to go find the uh, audio file that it's recorded and use another player uh, to play the audio back. Not a big deal. Um, it makes it a little cumbersome when you're first setting up the radio because you have to go in and out of this program. Uh, not in and out, but you have to go to another program to play back what's recorded to see if it's set up properly. So that's the one drawback. I believe the Pro version does have playback. So if you want to pay the small fee, I don't remember what it is, get the Pro version and you've got built-in playback. And like I say, what's unique about this program is this squelch control so that only records when there's activity at a certain level which you set up. So anyway, I thought I'd show it to you. You could use it on your uh, HF radio if your shortwave radio has, for instance, if it has a airband. Uh, because typically the airband frequency audio levels uh, change dynamically greatly so that normally there's, there's a, it's very low, so you can set the squelch so that it, it doesn't record, and then when there is a transmission, it jumps up, and so it will start recording. So you could use it on the air bands if you want to record stuff on the air bands. Typically in the HF bands, though, 
the noise level is pretty high, even when you know even when there's nothing there, it, it's pretty high. So the squelch is going to be opened and it's going to record. What typically happens on HF is that when some, when something is broadcasting, they override that noise. So this this program just wouldn't work very well. And that's why I, I don't personally understand why they even put uh, squelch on an HF radio. Except for the case of the Grundig that I have, it has airband, and that's where you could use a squelch. So anyway, I hope this doesn't confuse you. This is a neat little program that I use quite a bit. If you enjoyed this review, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.